to save people time, I will put the conclusion in the beginning of the video. Uh, the Droid Bionic and the Motorola Atrix 4G laptop dock are exactly the same from a hardware perspective as far as I was able to see uh, without taking it apart. I did find one difference between the Motorola Atrix 4G lap dock and the Droid Bionic lap dock, and the difference is very small. Um, well, two differences. One of them is that the HDMI is white over here, and it's actually black over here, but they're both on the right side. And the USB on the Droid Bionic is flipped this way, so this cable goes in this way, whereas on the other one, you have to flip the cable and it goes in this way, which is really, which really just means that it will not work with both phones. So you need either an adapter or, um, either way, it's a 2011 phone and it's 2021 right now, so no one's really using it. But that is the difference, and I finally realized the difference between the two, and that is, I believe, the only difference that I was able to see at all, anywhere. So, um, besides for the documentation and the box that it comes in. But the actual hardware, it's the exact same thing. The charger has a little bit of different labeling on the front of it, and that's it. The Droid Bionic was a little bit easier to plug in a micro USB, and the lap dock from Motorola was a little bit tougher to plug in the USB. So thank you for watching, I hope this helped. Um, the box is different and the instructions were different. You can watch the video to see the rest of that and to see the actual differences. And if you just want to see the unboxing and the instructions and different things like that. Um, also, I will show you the difference between the, the, the similarities and differences between the two charging cables. For the Motorola Atrix 4G lap dock, uh, here is the pin for the charging. Here is, it's connected to a box. Here are the specifications on this box. Okay, here they are. And then there is another cable that connects to that. And here is the SK number for this. Okay, and here's the Motorola charger. I'm not sure if the specifications are different. Here is the cable for it, the same exact type of cable. And the pin at the end is the same. This one says Motorola on it instead. And let's see. It's the same SK number for this uh, this piece that connects to the block. So as far as the chargers go, um, the first part of it, which is this part, um, they are exactly the same as far as I could tell. And if you take a closer look, they're both made by Motorola, obviously. The top one being the Droid Bionic and the bottom one being the Motorola Atrix 4G laptop dock. As you can see, the model numbers are a little bit different. One of them is A, and one of them is B. Both of them have an input of 100 to 240 volts at 1.0 amps with 50 to 60 hertz. And that's pretty standard, so that means it'll work in all countries. And if you look a little closer, you'll see um, its output is 19 volts, 1.58 amps LPS. And this one, sorry, trying to focus, 19 volts, 1.5 amps LPS. So basically the same exact um, output and basically the same exact device which means it's great it's interchangeable and the power is exactly the same so as far as I could tell bottom line both of these laptops so as far as I could tell they're both physically the same and their charging is the same hi this is Michael Jones I'm reviews today I'll be doing a comparison and unboxing between these two devices it'll only be a physical comparison as I have no actual devices to test it with at this time so here you have the droid bionic laptop and here is the Motorola Atrix 4G lap dock. This is actually called a lap dock, laptop dock. The Droid Bionic is also made by Motorola. Both boxes are 14 and a half inches long and 13 inches wide. This is on the side of the lap dock Droid, Droid Bionic, and this is on the side of the lap dock Motorola Atrix lap, uh, laptop dock. The backs of both of them. This is on the side of the Android, the Droid Bionic. Opening both boxes. Droid Bionic case, everything is already being shown. And the other one, you need to open this up in order to see the lap dock. The chargers will be at the end of the review due to me charging them right now and using the chargers. Both of them look identical. They both come with a user guide and a little case, like a little duffel case, like a pull string case made in China. As the Motorola sign. The SK numbers for the uh, chargers are exactly the same. Leads me to believe that they're the same exact charger and the same voltage and output. Part two for the travel charger for the Droid Bionic. I did not receive a plastic 
cover for the other one. So this is the only one I have. I'm going to go through the Motorola Lapdock Droid Bionic uh, instructions really quickly and then through the other one. The instructions user guides for the Motorola Lap Doc Doc. And now for the actual dock. Quickly for the SK the SK number for the actual uh, for the case, uh, the pulley case. If anyone cares, both lap docks are the same um, height and width, uh, nine and a half inches long, and eleven inches wide, and that is for both of them. Okay, this is the lap do uh, laptop dock, and it looks like it's micro and micro HDMI, micro USB, micro HDMI, and this one. Looks exactly the same with micro USB and micro HDMI. On the Droid Bionic, it has this little sticker here. The other one does not have a sticker. However, I don't know where the LED is that this sticker is indicating I'm talking about. The indicator light is in the same place for both of them, and when it's charging, this will start blinking, as noted in the instructions over here. The back, they're both the same uh, with six pegs, rubber stands, as you can see six and two screws uh, in the middle and then one on top on the droid dock it's the same as well two screws one on top and six pegs uh, stands they both have a charge indicator press the button and it tells you how much battery there is since this battery is basically dead it hasn't been charged that's how this one looks left the droid bionic which I did charge up has five lights and this one has zero lights now since this one is brand new, it has a little bit of instructions. Left click, right click, press button in front device, tap twice, turn off the trackpad. And I believe this one is exactly the same. There is a little light here, LED, that will blink and let you know if it's on or off. I believe you double tap it in order to turn it off. Yeah, it's a double tap. Both of them are five and a half inches from the screen. At this point, I am believing that the physical dimension, the dimensions are exactly the same, as you can see right here. We have a test user on the other one. The actual screen is a little bit ten inch, a little bit more than ten inches wide, and a little bit less than six inches long. So it's a very small device. However, it can be very useful um, using with Raspberry Pi and even with a computer um, or other devices. Both of them same Motorola, and this is the keyboard layout to both of them. Both of them have exactly the same USB 2.0 ports and charging power, and both of them have the stereo speakers here, as you can see. And as shown before, both of them slide up like this. So, in conclusion, there's no difference between them that I could tell from a hardware perspective uh, from the outside of the case. Uh, one of them had a sticker and one of them didn't, so go figure. And uh, that's all I have to say about this device as far as the hardware and unboxing goes. And nothing that I could tell was different between the Droid Bionic and the Motorola Atrix 4G laptop dock. So I uh, hope this was helpful uh, to anyone who cares about the hardware differences and to cares about the actual um, hardware, physical hardware. I don't believe there's any software inst uh, installed inside except for standard keyboard and mouse and video software.